Oh, Brooke, nobody here reads a book. You can tell by the look, they're gonna be shocked when I walk in tall like a lone shark, like I own the park, like I play a lot of that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Me and Pavati in New York are playing the dark. Hey, that looks cool. Oh, letting pot discovered. Okay, okay, enough. Did you change that up a little bit? Looks like they changed it up. More light. Marty Marbell. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. No. Lilia sent me with Catherine. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Uh, do you know where Catherine is or not? She's... She's not, but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. A uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat... I didn't mean this sort with whiskers and a tail. Uh, I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Or some balls. Where am I? What is this place? Yes, it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no. Man, oh man, it has been a blue moon since I had to break out the hook'em spiel. <clears throat> spiel? Allow oh. me to paint a picture in your mind. A parcel of pure paradise nestled beneath a waterfall within a mountain. We've got activities of leisure. we got proclivities for vice. we got booze and bets and non-communal beds. Sublight owned and run, so you know you're safe while you're breaking the laws. Check in at the saloon to start spending your bits now. Spiel means game. Spiel heißt game. Spiel English German word game. Damn, I just butchered that. <laughs> it's the other way around. Oh, game is English, Spiel is German. Football game, Fußball spiel. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Um, oh, not gonna be back. This is certainly a town, I think. I feel like they changed that a lot. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. I feel like they changed that a lot. They look dead inside. That's stealing. Sublight. Salvage. Nelson. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't oh. seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you in a second. Ah, oh, did you just wink at me instead of actual winking? Don't believe I did. No, wink. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. <laughs> that is a genius idea. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Hmm. Too right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying... You look more capable than most of the hoopleheads around these parts. 
What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, oh. I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Oh. That's not like I have anything better to do. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like with a wink. My Sprat carriers no. scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. It's called German sarcasm. You don't show emotions. You don't give them the sign that it's sarcasm. They need to decide that themselves. Oh, I'm definitely not stealing that. I didn't steal anything. I like your outfit, sir. Okay, there's more to steal. That's a dangerous one. Like wrapped among the rocks. I'm not a thief. The music is gone. It's bad. I'm gonna go to the ship anyways to get Ellie and the Breacher back here too. Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? You're standing here. You don't look like you're walking. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. To where? I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus, so long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. Uh, you keep on daydreaming, buddy. Daydreaming is nice and peaceful. Unless you're like me and you are daydreaming about shitty scenarios. You seen Arthur today? Nah, last time I saw him was the stud. I can't the remember. Chat? No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. Oh, where can I find Catherine? I can't fathom why you'd go searching her out, but it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. Okay, seriously, what's your deal? Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fella swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. No shit. Sure. And now that I've run dry, or nearly so, the fellas have abandoned me back to Byzantium. You wouldn't leave a friend in need, I'm sure. Ah, oh, you're not a friend. Oops, but yeah. Poor bro. Not important. This looks like a shithole. Especially in here. I will help myself to your free bits. Damn, that's too dangerous. And here, I wasn't in here yet. Hmm, empty. Also an empty fridge. Don't you dare open the door now while I'm looting. Oh, okay, they don't need to. Sometimes they just come in. Oh, supply. That's where... I need to talk to you later. Where the boss lady is. Guess I'm gonna take the other squad with me. Wesley Alexandra. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? No. Oh. I don't serve your kind. Usually. What's your order? Got any glacial age whiskey? No, I don't have any. Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the Annie Up, where you place your bets. Oh, no thanks. You ain't here to bet. I'll kindly ask you to vacate my uh, bar. 
Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. Mm -hmm. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose, then shirk on paying. No, I'm not a betting man. Oh, that's where Catherine is. Then what's in this bar? I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubber what? decking. Make a buy or move on. I don't think I have a bot here. Is that a... Gummy bears, okay. Oh, my parts can't buy it for some reason. That's worthless. There we have something I need. Twenty-six, ten, 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 thirty-six, forty-one. Eh, kind of worthless. That's all stolen goods. Okay, did I just get that automatically as a journal? Okay. Yes. Abandoned lab. Sounds what my mama. You. Nope, sorry. You shopping for pre owned or new? If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. What? <laughs> Who's the top dog in these parts? Town sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. A town built into the side of a mountain. You don't see one of those every day. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. But now that you mention it... I reckon she had her reasons to hide us. From who? Monarch is a lawless land. We got smugglers, outlaws, mavericks, and Byzantium socialites flying in and out of Fallbrook all the time. Why openly spin in the board's eye? Oh, why the socialities? Socialities? They're so self-important the way they strut around, preening and flashing their pricey gadgets. Makes for easy marks. Keeps our pockets lined with bits. Do you have anything important? No legendary gear here? Why well, can't I buy any of that? Sublight plasma knife. Sublight sniper rifle. <laughs> it's worthless. I got the dead eye pink slip. I probably shouldn't be in here. Just my guess. Pretty dark though. Nice. Oh, balcony. Full of stuff I definitely wouldn't steal. Because I'm an honest person. Nice. Okay. Like New York car ends. Ellie would be the perfect combination to talk to her. We can't overthink everything. Look, look. How do I get in here? Imagine father could be cleaner. That's here. Stocked with better booze. Cheaper. I've emptied 14 bit carts in the last two hours. That's because you've got a terrible tell. Whenever you're lying, your right eye twitches like mad. It most certainly does not. I wouldn't steer you wrong, friend. See? There it goes again. Thank you. 
Maybe I'll have nothing left when I'm through here. No tea. No Byzantium pass. That's not what it's called. Shy pass? Nah. The thing you unlock the PCs with. No clue what that's called. Wise. What the hell is down here? Oh boy. That sounds like a dragon. There's a spread. Oh well, it's got them dark in here. Oh. Be right there. I thought I had a flashlight button. No. Why did nobody go in here and clean up? It's sometimes so awkward when the music is just gone. Okay, where's the quest with the drugs? They are all in here. Right. Nice. Here's one. Here's one. And that's the last one. Cool. Easy job. Uh, easy. Hmm. Ellie. Ah, oh, Nyoka doesn't need anything here. And oh gosh, this is so pretty. Me, pretty overrated. The hell are you? Can Fuck I help me. you? Don't think we've spoken before. I would remember. You look um well. I wouldn't forget what you're wearing. No. Why would we have spoken before? Most of the freshies spend the first day in the saloon. Fresh to Fallbrook, I mean. Me. I've been here going on three days now. I'm real friendly. Figure I've talked up everyone in town by now, but not you yet. See, seems like it's your lucky day. Every day I've been here has been my lucky day. Never mm. won so much in my whole life. Aside from a close call during my wilderness hike, it's been a grand adventure. I'm dreadful blessed that Captain Cryley hired me onto the crew. Oh. Which crew? Ah, you wouldn't have heard of them. They're just a small pot of smugglers. Kept getting their spoils stolen when they went to fence them. So they hired on a merc. They didn't mind my being so talkative or them being my first protection gig. Captain Cryley, he does ask me to shut it sometimes. In fact, I probably shouldn't be flapping my gums about his crew at all. Ah, uh, I don't think she is a survival expert. Any survival tips? Captain warned us to take care around Devil's Peak. The bigger beasties tend to roam the slopes there. Mid-morning, I thought I'd try Fallbrook's self-guided wilderness hike, the one that leads up around the mountain. Safe enough, else they wouldn't advertise, right? Wrong. Scarcely made it back in one piece. I'm looking for Devil's Peak. Look for the horns and you can't miss it. Even I saw them when we flew overhead. Horns? Massive curved stone peaks if you want to get technical. They're part of the mountain terrain. How did you wind up in Fallbrook? Well, Captain Crowley wanted to take a pit stop. I'm the hired security, see? They pay me to guard the cargo, but right now the hull's empty. It's my first shore leave with the crew, and my maiden voyage before that. I can tell you it's been a real hoot. That's all. Right then. Very well. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. Then I'd like to answer it. 
If I can, that is. No. Nope. Right then. She seems like the only thing she gonna protect to her crew with is her words. Damn it. At least my reflex has still worked. Let's move on, sure. No, I cannot. I have to take a nap in the ship. Yeah, anyways, I need to do that anyways. It darkened that tunnel up too. Or the waterfall is the wreck. Yeah, let's get the other part of my crew down here. Boop. There are quests here. Need to be done. Ugh. Is there a chest? No. It's probably down behind the landing pod. Okay. Let's get them out here. Oh. Early in the vicar. I haven't seen them in a long time. It's all New York and Parvati so far. Oh, I'm na napping. Taking a big nap. Hey, dogs. Uh, no, drinking, of course. That's the joy of permadeath. Supernova, more so. Drink your sorrows away. I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board. Who keeps ordering these? It's the woody cars. The bag. We're gonna kill them and eat them. Okay. We got a daily. That's something we need to do. Both of them here. Let's see first. <laughs> that did hurt. That did hurt a lot. Where's the loot? Oh, come on. Really? That's the first. Ah. Let's do the Vicar's quest first. Are you on for action? This place does look... Nice at light. At light? Uh, nice at night. With the light. Okay. Wait. What? Ah, oh, come on. Ah. <sighs> He's not here unless you have the other part of the quest already done. Oh, I can't cheese it. Oh, God, I'm going to take New Yorker with me then. See you in a second. I am back. We got Ellie. And there she is, New Yorker. For Ellie's mission. Oh, damn. Protection. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. This is the company that manages my life insurance plan. Who knew they had an office in Fallbrook? Hey, maybe she can help us change my beneficiaries. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Ah, oh, that sounds like a great deal. It sure is. Uh -huh. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. 
Hmm. Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Mm hmm If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Ah. Uh, I need to change the beneficiary on Maryland's Fen Hills Life Insurance Polish say. Damn. Beneficiary. Marilyn Fenhill Life Insurance Policy. Okay, I got it. German tongue again in the way. Oof. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. <laughs> Let's stay on topic. I just want to change her beneficiary. You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she said, If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Well, uh, Muriel, damn it, I can't pronounce the name. Marilyn Fenhill isn't that a pronounced in German, dear. Of course she is. The paperwork says so. I like to think she's dead in spirit, but technically, legally, and regretfully, I'm still Marilyn Fenhill. That's impossible. By all accounts, she was an elegant and classy woman with impossibly fine bone structure. That couldn't possibly be you. That's gotta be the nicest thing anyone said to me in a long while. Okay, but how would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically? Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Mm-hmm. Wink, wink. Wink. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the option. Wink, right. I think you have something in your eye. Perhaps I can interest you in our ocular abnormality coverage. No. That's for the best. What can I do for you? Ah. Uh... I will be back. Right, Ellie? We'll be back. We're gonna do something in the back. Not just talking about stealing. Or hiding or hiding it in the back. Oh. System alert. <gasps> Shit. Shit. How's my stuff looking? Wait, isn't there a stealth option? Snake 50. Huh, that's actually pretty good. Skills minus five. Was the other helmet lock picking? That's why it was better here. Let's drink something. Damn it. Hell of a job. Damn it. No. I'm probably not allowed to do that here. Nice and easy. Oof. Uh, 
Uh, hello, sir. Nothing did happen just here. Oh, look at that. I need a oh, word. God. Oh, already. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. No. Is that all you wanted? You could have just stayed in Byzantium. Being a surgeon out there isn't as great as it seems. At least half your day is paperwork and red tape. No amount of money is worth dealing with that. I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. <laughs> Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Mm. Uh... Good for you. I'm glad you got what you wanted. Yeah. The funny thing about getting what you want is then you got to figure out what to do with it. I've never been much of a planner. Makes my eyeballs itch. Oh, who needs a plan? Figure it out as you go. If only you could have been my chief surgeon back in the day. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job Ooh. for me, so here's your fee. Oh. Glad we're remembering what's important. Okay, a job's a job, you know that. That's one of the things that makes you so easy to follow. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was my charming personality and good looks. Don't get ahead of yourself. I don't normally hand out compliments. A lot of folk expect some kind of soft-headed charity, especially with me being a sawbones. But you get it. Oh. Nothing says two allies can't keep an eye out on their own interests. Plenty of sense in that. You know, I'm thinking I ought to find another gig once this one's all done. One where I can really work on my own. Ah, uh, you sure about that? The easiest way to take care of myself is to work with the one person I trust the most, right? Anyway, enough chit chat. Okay. That is. The most boring and uninteresting companion loyalty mission ever. Almost there. Almost there. Ellie, what does that mean? Perk. Perk. Oops. Oh, uh, beyond the grave. Bright, I never bright people. So quite worthless too. I would never cheat the system. Or steal. Shut up, robot. Okay. Got it. I'm pretty sure the robot can see me. Yeah. So do something. Okay now. Barley here. Hello Ellie. That's the easiest and most boring side quests out of all the characters. Even Felix wants has more oomph to it. But I'll take the free XP. It will take me a while to get back to... What's the place? Groundbreaker anyways. You've won. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? My story is... Bye. No. No. I'm gonna give in the one quest first. Yes. Knock, knock. Go away, White. That's not how the game works. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door. And you say... I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Oh, uh... Having a rough day? I lost a shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keeley. 
Oh, Catherine is gonna flay the skin from your fingers. I know. Who's there? No one. There are no knock knock jokes in German, by the way. Germany doesn't have Did you knock find them? knock. Tell me you found my dr I mean my sprat carriers. Would hate should anything dire have befallen them. Did that. We want the good news or the bad news. Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. The sprats, they're dead. Retrieved your drugs. But wrapped it on scope your carries. In the cave. Rats can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per This is only half. Are you you think you can steal from me? What? <laughs> Punch him in the eye. Get a hold of yourself. Ow! Damn it, that hurt like the blazes. Okay, okay. Alright. You didn't take it. But someone did. Search Fallbrook. Either oh. half the sprats got loose on their own, or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filths my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. God damn it. Of course it wasn't that easy. Ah, uh, maybe I can knock on those doors now. That's my... That's what I think. Ah, this Blood King. What's going on here? This mini Malin, get your twitchy whiskers you back here. Don't you run out that door? Ah. Close the damn door. you let Holy my Jesus. Damn it all. Now look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose or get out of my face, domicile intruder. No need to get thirsty. There is plenty of need. Ooh. I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. Ah, oh, these sprats. You still want truck carriers. I'm here to retrieve the goods. Look, I don't care if Nelson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. <sighs> Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. Really? Medical. No need for vivisection. Sprats possess rabbit digestive systems. You want to dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. I should kill you, but uh, fig. <laughs> this fig that might be the death of me. Damn. Ugh. That's dangerous. Well, I need to mark my territory. Okay. Territory marked. Nice. And another pile of spread shit. One more. Nice. Bye, Mini Marlin. Can you two get out so I can take a screenshot of Mini Marlin? There we go. Rup. Mini Marlin. Oh, sorry, bro. If you would please leave me and my fur babies be. <laughs> my fur babies. Ah. Oh. Let them creep. Whew. There's so much to do on Mana. It's insane. Okay. Frog Lord. Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Oh. <laughs> Ow! What the? What was that for? Good measure. Wink at me one more time, I dare you. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it, really. Wink. 
<laughs> Ow! Oh, for the love of... I thought we were joking! If this swells shut, I swear I'll... Nothing. I am not gonna do nothing. Don't punch me again. Please and thank you. <sighs> Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. I got your drugs. I mean, you do. Of course you do. What did I tell you? Sure fire delivery system. Works almost every time. No, not really. Uh, turns out some crazy guy was keeping them as pets. Two guesses I know exactly who. And where to find him. Hey, yeah. If Bertrand ain't already dead, he's about to be. I owe you for bringing this breach in security to my attention. As promised, you're cut. Plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. And kill those guys, that guy, and Mini Meryl. Okay, our reputation is back up, I guess, so that we can do good business. Nah. Nah, not that good. Uh. Damn it. I've done a lot of positive too. Just killed a few people. They weren't important. I can replace them. Oh, Merlin's house of hospitality. 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 Merlin's house of hospitality. Damn me. Okay. Uh huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Oh. Nice to meet you. I'm Ghoul Pool. I'll be sure to remember that fella. Wanna tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. More horrible <laughs> things. Uh, I took care of your little truck running problem. Funny, you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. He tried to cut costs by using spreads instead of autoloaders for transport. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. And well, shit. you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Ah. Uh... Some just said you know something about corporations operating secret, in secret on Monarch. Now that's first the Marauders who killed your supplies. Runners got what they deserved. See, this is why I like you, fella. You make exchanging blood and bits so damn delightful. Sanja. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. But I'm guessing Arthur already told you that. Moron squeals like a sissy pig. Though yeah. I will thank you kindly for gutting the marauders who cost me my delivery tea. Ah, uh... oh, the boss sent me. You oaf. Funny, you don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Cut to the chase. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. 
totally safe. Ah, uh, define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing oh. as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Oh. What the heck is Otto Vita Gas? I look like one of them egghead science types. All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. I can't get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? <laughs> Don't worry, I can box that. Shall I inscribe that on your tombstone? Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option though, unless you want to get dead. Pavati. Ah oh, no. Good thing we have an engineer. Pavati will handle it. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before Early. you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Early, remember yourself the password. I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. I get the feeling this is going to involve mood and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg. The self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. It's just a deadly mission. And a uh, mission that gets a bad reputation very quickly. He's just eating his sister pig pie. <laughs> no, it's not. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Oh. Any tips I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you could shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Oh, say I wanted to sabotage the victory. And I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Ah, oh, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Anything else? How Okay, nothing else done. Duncan. Where the hell was Duncan? Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. I'd have a drink with her. Though I'd keep one hand on my gun and the other on my bit cartridge. He's still alive. He's nice. still alive. All that screaming in the random hours of the night puts a damper on the mood. Oh, that's just Miss Malin working on some fella who can't pay his debt. So noted. <laughs> My accounts will be balanced by the afternoon. 
I heard sometimes when the tunnels get infested. Duncan, 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 Duncan. There's no Duncan here. Is that the shop owner? Mm. This episode is pretty much over, anyways. Uh, that's Duncan, right? Yes. Hungry? I'm fat. No rubbernecking. Catherine said you can give me uh, days. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Uh, then not. Okay. Oh, I'm tired as all hell. I'm gonna go work out and not sleep. I need to eat still. Or try to eat. Even though... One teeth problem is fixed, another one occurs, and... Well, it seems like I can't eat chicken breast anymore. I don't know, it's just hard to eat with teeth problem. Salmon work fine, guess I am actually gonna be a pescetaria. In due time. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Yo, peace out.